I have got an academic emergency to deal with. My final term examinations are about to begin from 14th of July and for that purpose I need to study more than 100 of PPT in a span of less than 20 days. And along with that I have a goal of completing medicine and surgery from Marrow and, and in which more than 100 lectures are left and I need to get done with them before 30th of June. And while doing these two things I need to attend all my often lectures, I need to go for my clinical posting and also attend all the pathology and physiology lab that I do have and also live a life while juggling between all these tasks with that being said hello everyone my name is Harsh and I'm a fourth year medical student of Shaman Medical University and welcome to the episode one of getting my life together in MBBS college before making an actual pen how I am going to manage all the tasks that I am required to do as I attended a majority of my course duration at home from 2020 to 2022 2020 to 2022 now since we are back in 2023 college is arranging makeup classes for almost all the practical classes that were meant to be held during this time period and right now i'm standing outside my college's medicine building to attend a physiology lab Excited for the practical class, I entered the building as the practical was being supervised by one of the best professors in my university. First I entered the building and kept my bag at the ground floor, took out my apron and a quick selfie with friends. Then we all head towards medical functionality lab which is on the third floor. We are a total of 52 students divided into 8 groups with 8 students on one table. The main objectives of this experiment was to learn experimental methods for mammalian organs in vitro and observe the general physiological characteristics of GI smooth muscle and the effects of certain physical and chemical factors in it. And the animal that we used was rabbit. We were meant to extract a sample of rabbit's GI and then clamp it on this machine and then add different chemicals in the tension transducer which is this machine and then observe all the effects of different chemicals like NaOH, HCl, effect of adrenaline and effect of acetylcholine, effect of atropine, effect of barium chloride on this and then save the results and head towards our dorm. I'm back inside my dorm room. Let me just quickly set up my camera and get to the actual thing. So there are going to be three different steps how I am going to organize my life for the upcoming one month and deal with all the things that I have got. Number one, know what are all the things that I need to actually do. From the past two years, I've started to do every single thing on my iPad as it is very easy to carry it around and know every single thing, be it note taking or go through PPTs or learn any single thing. I use my iPad for almost all the purposes except planning my life for which I still like to use these A4 sheets on which I write every single thing. So, number one of which is marrow. I have to complete medicine and surgery from marrow. In medicine, I have to specifically go through around 64 lectures of endocrine neurology and cardiology. And then in surgery, I have to complete 32 lectures of trauma, hernia, lymphatics, skin and thorax and orthopedics. I have to complete it overall as it is going to come in my final term examination under the section of surgery. And then for the examination part, I'm going to have my exa final term examination from 14th of July. First examination is of uh, stomatology and then on 19th, I do have my surgery examination. And then on 24th, I have my ophthalmology examination. And on 27th, I'm going to have my medicine examination. So for that purpose, I'm required to study around 112 PPTs. And these PPTs, which my Chinese professors give to us, are specifically designed and they have got all the important content from different standard textbooks they have arranged in a particular manner combined along with the research studies so in order to get good grades i need to go through all of them number three i have to clear attend all the clinical posting as i'm in my fourth year second semester i need to go to the hospital and attend my clinical postings of medicine and surgery as it is taught in the fourth year in medicine department i have to go to the urology postings and in surgery i have to attend orthopedic clinical rotations in shaman university there are total three hospital in which students go to attend their clinical posting number one which name is shangan hospital number two zongshan hospital and number three first hospital in first hospital i am posted it is one of the oldest hospitals of the shaman universities and the entire shaman island and there's the maximum patient load in first hospital we usually get to see around like nine to ten cases each day and there are sometimes even when we are able to find rare cases patients as well over there and the teachers here are so good they do explain and they come up with like full preparation they come with sheets in which they have written the whole clinical history of that particular patient and they explain to 
us and they give us like ask us to diagnose this patient what treatment should be given what is the diagnosis for this patient the clinical postings here are done in a very serious manner so i'm going to require to go through them all and there are like few lectures left as well after coming back to college after two years of staying at home in covid we are also required to go through all the labs that were meant to be held in our second year and in third year of pathology and physiology so there are a few labs arranged as well during this time period number two prioritize here I've made a rough table for my upcoming 14 days as my priorities are gonna change with time with the passing time for the upcoming 16 days my major priority is going to be all completing all the marrow lectures of medicine surgery and orthopedics as these 16 days the examination not too near from 1st of July my priorities will shift to studying all the PowerPoint presentation till the 14th of July as the now the examinations will be very near and I'll be required to pre prepare for all of them number three raise the bar I actually like to set my goals in such a way that they are beyond my limit a little bit way far than my actual limit on how much work I can do in a single day so that I always end up doing more than what I would have actually end up doing if I would have some set some realistic goal for myself this is an example of weekly calendar from 19th of june to 25th of june so on 19th i'm going to have one of my morning class at 9 a.m and then at 10 and then i'm also required to go for my hospital rotation in surgery department in this first hospital my group is the internal medicine i'll have a clinical posting and then on tuesday there is pathology lab so there i'll have in these two days i'll have very less time to study and then there is going to be dragon boat festival from for which we are going to have holiday from 22nd to 24th so these three days will be a major time duration where i can like give time to study i usually wake up around 6 to 7 a.m and my lectures is morning lectures start from 10 10 a.m so during that time period of 6 to 10 a.m i can easily get around three to four hours of my study time duration and during the afternoon also i can get easily two hours and in the evening after coming back from clinical rotation and some days i don't even have clinical rotation in that in those days i can easily get around three and manage to get around three to four hours of study duration so here i have made a rough table for myself on which day on which date where I'm going to study which lecture from which portion of surgery and medicine and also PPT so this is some what my table looks like I've written down every single date and also every single lecture which I'll be studying or the lecture number which I'll be studying as it would have taken a lot of time and also here a rough plan I'm going to do two PPTs per day during this time duration of 14 to 30 of June and after that I'll make another plan for the and after that i'll make another plan for the 14 days which will be left and especially dedicated for my final terms examinations from 1st of july to 14th of july now i've started to feel a little bit hungry so i'll go to the new canteen area and get some food for myself and and then go to the study area and study a little bit and call it a day This is what I'm going to have here they make like egg and chicken roll. Basically I was asking him to put two eggs on one single side. Otherwise what they do is they put one egg on one side and the other one on the other side and I don't like it at all. The time period between 12 pm to 5 pm there are not much options available to eat over here. Either you can have like this egg roll or chicken roll or you can have burgers i don't want it to have burgers so i went for the roll here they have also got two many varieties of bread and what is this i don't know but this was looking delicious so i'm gonna have it as well these two things this is the study area in which i'm sitting and studying marrow lecture i came over here to make some black coffee myself the vending machines as i told in my last video in the floor every single time so i just came here to take some hot water i brought coffee this is one coffee jar that i always carry inside my bag with myself as i'm a huge coffee addict i cannot do any single thing without coffee let's have coffee and get started there is some kind of background noise coming now right now this is of all the insects these are insects which live in these trees they are making this sound in this study area you can even hear the birds chirping during the evening time and blossoms really really beautifully it's not like not right now but i'll show it someday definitely vitamins and history books psychology in a different way to look 
at it all Cause my perspective is broken If suffering's a way to earn your keep I better start putting miles on my feet